Excellent view. Yeah. 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 No, it actually, the flight style is actually kind of confusing when I was doing it. So we're trying to twist your one side and new drive in. <laughs> well, it was good. Just as I remembered it. The drive is actually fire, I kind of like. Very crispy one on the inside. Slop chicken with like a little bit of corn, like a pea. Can't go wrong. Got a nice little pot fried dumpling. Focus up. Oh. Mmm, look at the inside. Can we focus camera? Chicken, corn, pea seems to be all the filling, pot stickers. A nice light but very flavorful outside with the chicken. It's good. This is a plate of champions right here. Fry rice. Um, Singapore noodles, like the soft noodles with prawns, chicken. Spicy chicken, sauteed with vegetables and a nice sweet spicy teriyaki sauce, beef and broccoli. And we got a deep fried chicken. Everything looks amazing. I'm excited. What? Mm. It was so good. Siri on somebody. Going there for the noodles. Like what you got? What's that? Like what you got? Bye. Bye, guys. Me and you and I are real quick. Hmm. The Singapore noodles are soft. Huh? Like soft, like small noodles, like ramen noodles. Yeah. Yeah, that's a favorite man. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we're going in for the beef and broccoli. Tender. The beef could be a little bit more tender, but it's good. Mm. Spicy chicken? That's what you call why are you doing that? You can put it on the top. Yeah, why are you just holding it up? <laughs> I was wondering why he was just holding it up in his hands. This family special. Deep fried. <laughs> mm. Deep fried chicken tender, basically. Light thin, almost like um, katsu chicken. That's what it is, katsu chicken. Mm -hmm. I was, I was new trying this. Huh? Where? Yeah, that's the only thing I got, you know. Yeah. It was really good. I liked it. 10 out of 10. Scale of 1 to 10. What time this goes? 8.5. 8. 8. 8.5 is the final square new driving. Yeah. So we used to come to the same place and party right upstairs on altitude. If you know, you know. If from Ghana, you know it's altitude was, it was the spot. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Altitude is the place to be. Guys. But this spot's really nice. Like, look at it. The spot's really nice. Open like three months ago, but it, it's pretty fire. It looks Our really is very nice too. Let me get a better angle on myself. I gotta stop being shy. But um, I know who cares. I know who cares, right? So what did you get? You had the Niki Mule. Yeah, it has vodka. And then I got the uh, sake mojito, a little sake, lime juice, lime, mint leaves. I love a good mojito, guys. Love a good mojito. He got. What did you get? I got. Mojito? Yeah, I got. Oh. I got a sake mojito, and then you got the um the mule. Mule. I forgot what kind of mule you got. Try yours. Try it's yours. It's called the. Nikki oh, the Nikki mule, mule. The Nikki mule. The Nikki mule. Should we cheers? Yeah, try yours. Ooh, and 
never had a cocktail in like a... Mm. Ooh. It's very ginger. Mm. I don't know if I like mine. Mine's very minty. I can't really taste the sake, That's which is kind of good. Like. Mm. A mule is gingery. You didn't know that? Yes, that's not true. Yes, a mule is like ginger beer and stuff like that. Chat, a mule is ginger beer. A mule is literally ginger beer. Mm, I like yours. I like yours. You want to switch? Yes. Yeah, we got to switch. That's All right, so we have basically all the food we had. We ordered. We didn't want any mains, so we got all appetizers, as you can see. We got a nice little sushi roll right down here. Tempura sushi roll. Played it safe. We got a pork bow. Looks very filling, very promising, and a nice, like a Roman day coleslaw. Looking good. Can't knock it. See there, we got the little pork gyoza looking a little thin, like four small pieces, but it's okay. And we got the main event. We got a nice little Niki ceviche. It looks good. It looks very fresh, a lot of ingredients, very fresh. And I'm excited to eat it with some fiery popcorn on the side. All right, I'm gonna try the the tempura salmon first. It's a crispy roll. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 -hmm. It's obviously not a traditional like sushi roll, but the crispiness. That's a really good roll. Like, the thing about Ghana is never gonna have, like, okay, I'm not gonna say never, but for now, like, it's not the most authentic because you still have to appease, like, the locals and the local flavors and stuff. But I think the local flavors fusion with, like, traditional stuff of, like, whatever cultures they're trying to, uh, trying to, like, mimic, it, it, I, think, I think it matches a lot. I really think it matches. Oh. With a chopstick? That's a bad yeah. move. I still gotta use I still gotta use the hat. Ooh! <coughs> <coughs> Spicy. Pepper. <coughs> so we're trying the pork bow now. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's very good. This is more we just, can I redeem myself with this bite? Mm, redeem yourself, redeem yourself. There you go. Mm. Lydia, the pork bow, very good. Really? Pork bow would be my best thing. Propose yourself. Mm -hmm. Propose yourself. This pork bow is so good. The bow itself, like the, the roll outside is very tender. This almost like hits this, but this is, one of the best bows I've ever had in my life. Whoa. <coughs> Not just saying because it's in my country, I love my country, but the pork is tender. It's actually a really big steak. No, no, no. The pork is very tender. Obviously, the pickled marmalade, purple I think cabbage. Considering like you live in Toronto, because Toronto has a lot of Asian, Asian, Asian culture themed culture, and like a lot, a lot of Asian places to go eat. And I feel like I've had it all. Like yeah, I've, yeah. I've had a lot of good lot amount of food. We've ate a lot of pieces places. Obviously, you'll never get to the most like unless you're in the country. But I think Toronto does a very good place. Yeah, I do think Toronto does a very good job of mimicking. Like, cause we have a lot of Asian people. We have a lot of Asian people yeah. in Toronto, especially. But this pork bow is. If I, and try it. Tell me. Tell me. I'm. Tell me. I'm not crazy right now. Why do I keep getting the bad bites? Okay. That's what I'm wow. saying. It's good. It's it's literally one of the best pork bows ever had. All right, let's go for the ceviche. Ceviche dip. Hit me, hit me. Okay. They gave us plantain chips. Yeah. To eat with it, what I would do is I would no. What would you do? I would kind of like take my fork. Yeah. Give me a bite, give me a bite. I just want one prawn. Maybe put like a prawn on it yeah. and then like... Give me a little something. A little jazz with the prawn. Yeah, not too much. Just like a couple. And then so the corn. 
some of the corn. And then eat it like that. I don't know okay. if it's tail. It's not tail off though. No, no, no. It's not tail off. I'll eat with the tail. I I'll eat with the tail. Oh my goodness. This is also not a traditional, by the way. It's like infused Japanese and Peruvian, so it's not a hundred percent what you would think. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Okay, look at my bite, you guys. No. What? It's good. Stop. Stop right now. Stop. The it. flavor is so fresh. Really? Mm -hmm. You're lying. Look at my bite, you guys. Yum. I'm telling you. Tell me the flavor is not so fresh. <laughs> Tell me that it's not amazing. I'm into it. If I'm lying, and it strike me down. It strangely works with the plantain chips. It, it works with the plantain yeah, chips, right? I have to say. Because I've had ceviche or regular chips, and the ceviche or regular chips, it just like it does nothing to the flavor. Yeah. It just keeps it there just to hold it up and dip it. But with the plantain chip, it, it works. But you know, Latin food a lot, the dips are tostones, which is fried plantain, exactly. just a little thicker. But these like Guyanese plantain chips, working, it's working with it. And the actual like juice in the ceviche is not um, overly citrus, which is nice. It's not overly citrus. Yeah. No, it's actually a really good ceviche. I approve, for sure. The thing that we order right now is the chicken gyoza. So you can see it right here. Mm. Let's put it here. Let's put it, it here. It honestly looks really, really fabulous. Can you, okay, let me let, let me just use a fork, guys. I'm sorry, I have to use a fork. I, I'm not. I don't know if I'm, I'm not, gonna I'm not like literate. this. Yeah, it, it looks a little mid. It looks a little it's mid. not crispy, but it's okay. I'll try it. What do you think? Okay. Look at mine. Also, by the way, I like really, 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 really love dim sum. Like I love dumplings. So. Okay, it tastes like the ones you can buy at Costco. I'm not gonna lie. Look. Chad, chicken gyozas like. Can they see the pepper on it? No, it's not okay. focusing. Whatever. Ooh, kicky. It is kicky. But yeah, guys, Nikki Ganum, fire, I would recommend to come here. It's good. I would say come here. It's good. I'm picky. And I like it. I'm not picky, but like. It's good. A nice, like, upscale restaurant is actually very nice. You can't really see the view rank because of the reflection, but it's, it's a nice uptown view. Sandy Bob and Miss Nero, come, come through.